Bellwether Analog Delay from Walrus Audio. You've got a thousand milliseconds, bucket brigade powered analog delay. It's an all analog chorus engine, tap tempo with selectable time divisions, quarter note, eighth note, dotted eighth, and triplet. A variable tone control for the repeats, full analog signal path, of course. Expression input for time and repeats. We've got a wet signal effects loop, tempo input, and your power requirements are a standard nine volt. So today I'm playing through a Veritas Guitars Portlander with Lawler humbuckers, and I'm running that through a stylish matching Milkman 20 watt creamer. So we got a lot of features on this thing. We have an on off switch, of course. There's my dry signal. There's the delay. All right, so starting here on your left, we've got the tap subdivision knob. So what that's going to do is it's going to give us quarter notes, and we've got eighth notes. About two o'clock, we've got dotted eighths, and then all the way up we've got triplets. So let's check that out. As you saw, we've got tap tempo too, but we also have a time control. We've got a repeat control, obviously. One thing I really dig about this is when it's stacking, it doesn't get dirty right away. It stays clean for a little bit longer than a lot of delay pedals do which means you've got a little more time before it gets away from you. All right, so let's talk about this tone control. You can really think of it as almost like a high cut knob. So all the way up is the sound we're used to getting from an analog delay pedal. Do a little more, more repeats. Warm, smooth, mellow sounding delays, but we can bring the highs back in and get a little more attack back in it too. This tone control only affects the delayed signal. It only affects the wet sound, not your dry signal. So after the tone control, we've got our wet level control. This controls the volume of your delayed signal, right? So it doesn't control your dry signal. Here's my dry level all the way down, start bringing that up. My dry sound doesn't change, but now I've got delays. So we're just turning up the delayed sound. It doesn't kill your dry sound. So that was the top row. Now we've got the bottom row of controls. We've got a toggle here for our expression pedal out. We can set it to control the repeats or control the time. The next toggle switch labeled mod controls our analog chorus engine. That's going to put chorus on your delayed sound. Again, not messing with your dry sound. You can hear it there. So let's get a little longer delay time. I'll just kick it back over here to quarter notes. My rate stays the same. Kick the repeats up a little bit so you can hear it a little more. There's the chorus. I've got it set pretty conservatively right now. We can kick this depth up really get kind of strange with it. We've got our rate control here. I want to turn that up. You can get some pretty nice sounds that way, but we can set it a little more light and just have a nice mellow. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of wobble in there. Get kind of a tape echo type sound. And then over here, last but not least, we've got an external tap tempo in. So if you want to run an outboard tap control, um, plug it in right there and you're good to go. So looking at our top panel here, we've got our input jack. After that, we've got out one and out two. We've got an effects loop jack. Um, we've uh, 
giving you an effects loop on the delayed signal, um, and then our expression pedal jack.